God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, look down on us and heal our infirmities to the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thou, O 
martyrs who preach the Lamb of God, and like unto lambs were slain, and are translated into life unfailing and everlasting, fervently beseech you him to grant us remission of our debts. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Ye who have trod the narrow way of grief, all ye who in life have taken upon you the cross as a yoke, and followed me by faith, draw near, enjoy ye the honors, and the celestial crowns I have prepared for you. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. I am the image of thine ineffable glory. Though I bear the brands of transgressions, pity thy creature, O Master, and purify me by thy loving kindness. Grant unto me my desired fatherland, making me again a citizen of paradise. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. O thou who of old didst from me nothingness and didst honor me with thine image divine, but by the transgression of thy commandment has returned me again unto the earth from which I was taken. Restore thou me to that image and to my former beauty. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Give rest, O Lord, to the soul of thy servant, and establish her in paradise. Where the choirs of the saints and of the just, O Lord, shine like the stars of heaven. Give rest to thy servant who hath fallen asleep, overlooking all her transgressions. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Devoutly let us praise the threefold splendor of the one Godhead crying out. Holy art thou, O Father, who art from everlasting, O Son, co-eternal and Spirit divine. Illumine us to serve thee with faith, and deliver us from fire eternal. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, O pure one, who for the salvation of all did spring forth God in the flesh, through whom the human race hath found salvation. Through thee may we find paradise. O pure, most blessed Mother of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
shall we return again? As thou didst command when thou madest me, saying unto me, For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Whither we mortals all shall go, What earthly sweetness remaineth unmixed with grief? What glory standeth immutable on earth? All things are but feeble shadows. All things are most deluding dreams. Yet one moment only, and death shall supplant them all. But in the light of thy countenance, O Christ, and in the sweetness of thy beauty, give rest unto her whom thou hast chosen, forasmuch as you lovest mankind. I weep and I wail when I think upon death and behold our beauty, Created in the likeness of God, lying in the tomb, disfigured, bereft of glory and form. O oh, marvel, what is this mystery concerning us? Why have we been given over unto corruption? And why have we been wedded unto death? Truly as it is written by the command of God, who giveth the departed rest. When thou comest into thy kingdom, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst for righteousness' sake, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. A citizen of paradise, O Christ, Thou didst make of the thief, who, because of his repentance upon the cross, cried unto thee, Remember me. Make thou me a sinner, worthy also of the same. Blessed are the <coughs> pure in heart, for they shall see God. O thou who reignest over life and death, in the courts of thy saints grant unto her, whom thou hast removed from temporal things, and who crieth unto thee, Remember me, O Lord, when thou comest into thy kingdom. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. O thou who rulest over souls and bodies, in whose hand is our breath, the consolation of the afflicted, in the land of the just, give rest unto thy servant, whom thou hast taken from us. Blessed are they which are persecuted for right.
righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. May Christ give thee rest in the land of the living and open unto thee the gates of paradise and make thee a citizen of his kingdom and give thee remission of those things wherein thou in life hast sinned, O thou who lovest Christ. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Let us go forth and gaze into the tombs. Man is naked bones, food for the worms and stench, and we shall learn what are riches and comeliness and beauty and strength. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Let us hearken unto what the Almighty crieth, Woe unto those who seek to behold the terrible day of the Lord, for lo, it is darkness, for all things shall be tried with fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Him who hath no beginning and birth of cause, the Father I worship, him who is the only begotten Son I glorify, and unto the Holy Spirit who shineth together with the Father and the Son, I sing praises. The perfume and the crystal, blessed is the way which thou shalt walk today, O soul, for a place of rest is prepared for thee. Blessed is the way in which thou shalt walk today, O soul, for a place of rest is prepared for thee. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord my God. Blessed is the way in which thou shalt walk today, O soul, for a place of rest is prepared for thee. Blessed is the way in which thou shalt walk today, O soul, for a place of rest is prepared for thee. Wisdom, reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, letter to them. <coughs> Brethren, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him according to the Lord's own word tell you that we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will, we will be with the Lord forever. 
say one final goodbye to one last tip. Please allow me time to do that while we read the chat. Read the review. We're not interrupting you. We're going to write Please don't need to do that. Please come. We thank you very much. Come, let us give a final kiss to the dead, giving thanks to God for this one has departed from her kinsfolk and approaches the grave. No longer does she trouble herself with vanities and the body's needs. Where are her kinsfolk and friends? For now we are separated. Let us pray to the Lord to give her rest. What kind of parting is this, brothers? What is this present sorrow and tears? Come that we may kiss her that she that was so recently with us. For she is delivered to the grave, covered with earth, dwelling in shadow, buried among the dead, and separated from all kinsfolk and friends. Let us pray to the Lord to give her eternal rest. To what may our life be likened, be it to a flower, to smoke, and to the morning dew? Come then to the grave, that we may really see where the body's beauty is, and where its youth, where the eyes, and where the bodies form. All have perished like the grass, all has vanished away. Come, let us tearfully prostrate ourselves before Christ. The departure of the soul is a great weeping and lamenting, much sighing and struggling. This fleeting life is Hades and destruction, a shadow without existence, an elusive dream which in no time vanishes, the fatigue of earthly life. Therefore, let us flee from every earthly sin that we may inherit heavenly things. Seeing the dead laying here, let us think about the brevity of the departed one who vanishes like smoke from the earth, faded like a flower, like grass that is cut down and then is wrapped in funeral clothes and covered with earth. As we leave her veiled from our sight, let us pray to Christ God to give her eternal rest. Come to the grave to look upon the dust and ashes from which we are shaped. Where now do we go and what do we become? Who is the poor man or the rich? Who the master or the freed man? Are we not all ashes? The beauty of the face is erased and death has withered the flower of youth. Truly all glorious sweetness of life are vanities and corruptions. We all shall pass away and all of us shall die. Kings and princes, judges and rulers, rich and poor. Yes, every mortal being. They who once were alive are lowered into the grave. Therefore, let us pray to the Lord to give them rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Seeing me lying here without voice and without breath, all of you who weep for me, my brothers and friends, kinsfolk and acquaintances, acquaintances, yesterday I spoke with you, and without warning the dreadful hour of death came upon me. But come, all of you that love me, and kiss me with a final kiss, for from now on I shall not walk nor talk with you. I am going to the judge where no prejudice, prejudice holds sway. Slave and master stand together, king and soldier, rich and poor. All will be of equal honor, and each one according to his works will be glorified or shamed. Thus I implore all of you and ask you to pray continuously to Christ God for me, that I not be sent to the place of punishment according to my sins, but that he establish me where the light of life is. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feather, under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noon. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall my plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. 
Thou shalt bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. <clears throat> he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God.